Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. I am Professor Adam Ahmad Adam. This is part 5 of the topic Streptococcus species. It is about very dense streptococci and enterococci. We start with very dense streptococci. These are alpha hemolytic. They are found as flora in oral mucosa. Different species, Streptococcus mutans. This is a common cause of dental caries. Streptococcus salivarius, Streptococcus mitis, Streptococcus anginosus, and Streptococcus bovis. They can cause bacterial endocarditis in damage heart valves. So if a dentist wants to do some surgical maneuvers in the oral mucosa for a patient with damaged heart valves, he or she must give prophylactic antibiotics to the patient before doing the surgical maneuvers to protect the patient from infective endocarditis because these bacteria, if they enter the bloodstream, they will reach the heart and they cause uh, bacterial endocarditis. Then we come to uh, the enterococci. These are gamma hemolytic. They are group D according to Lansfield. They are Enterococcus fecalis, Enterococcus fascium. They are found as commensal in the intestine. But elsewhere, they may cause urinary tract infection, bacteremia, endocarditis, diverticulitis, meningitis, nosocomial infections or hospital associated infection. They can be used as indicator of fecal contamination. So for example, if water is expected to be contaminated with fecal material, human fecal material, you can test for the presence or absence of enterococci. But I'd like to mention to you that the best indicator is E. coli for fecal contamination. These bacteria have got intrinsic antibiotic resistance. So they are by nature resistant to so many antibiotics. By this part five is over. I hope that the topic of Streptococcus species is clear and understandable and I wish you all the best.